Chris TV. This is Chris 6 News at noon. Good afternoon. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Sierra Pizarro. We're going to get straight to it. The U.S. Supreme Court issued a stay of execution for John Henry Ramirez. He's convicted of killing Corpus Christi convenience store clerk Pablo Castro in 2004. Our Cordero McMurray tells us what the Castro family and Ramirez's attorney has to say about the decision. Ramirez was granted a stay of execution at around 9 p.m. Wednesday. His attorney had asked for the stay when Ramirez was denied a request to have his spiritual advisor lay hands on him during his execution. Ramirez had requested his pastor be allowed with him in the death chamber to pray over him at the time of his death. He is on death row after being convicted of killing Castro while he was taking out the trash at Times Market on Baldwin Boulevard in 2004. Ramirez was convicted and has been on death row since 2009. Castro's sister-in-law, Elaine Salcedo, confirmed the family's anguish at hearing the news. And Ramirez's lawyer says the state of Texas is to blame. Take a listen. From here on out, it's just a waiting game. It's just a waiting game. And once again, the family's put on trial because they have to go through this. So all I can conclude is that there is no prayer free zone in our country. There is no godless vacuum in the execution chamber or any place else. If laws are laws, if the Constitution applies, has to apply everywhere and always in every corner of our fair land. And that even includes the hell of an execution chamber right before a citizen is put to death. This is the third time Ramirez has had his execution delayed. His attorney said this argument is not about getting Ramirez off death row, saying he will die by lethal injection eventually. He says the case is about constitutionality at this point and freedom of religion for death row inmates. His attorney says he is taking the issue to Supreme Court and will likely testify there in October or November. Reporting in studio, I'm Cordero McMurray, Chris, 6 News.